north of Big Spring, Texas, coming towards La Mesa, Texas. Thought we'd get out the recording here. It's a little bit of an iconic landscape. It's, if you look at it, just red dirt. Nothing but red dirt. Just about every inch of it this time of year is bare and plowed. So as far as the eye can see, there's uh, just that red dirt there shining under the sky. And of course there's your occasional um, oil well, oil storage tank. And interestingly enough, every once in a while, just absolutely out in the middle of that infinity, of red dirt you'll see a little cluster of uh, trees and there'll be a, a house out in the middle of that and I wish that you know, one would come along but it probably won't so also an oil and gas landscape a lot of uh, you're seeing intermittently large numbers of derricks um, and you're also seeing some of the infrastructure intermittently that extracts the natural gas which we saw being shipped out of Port Aransas in uh, compressed form on those European uh, and Asian tanker ships. On the topic of diesel, let's talk about diesel. This, this land should really get you thinking about fuel because every inch of what we're looking at here, every inch of this infinity has been plowed and turned over and worked by diesel fuel. Don't think of that they just take it for granted that you can see literally hundreds of miles of broken up dirt well every inch of that ground that was turned and broken was broken by diesel fuel think of the energy imagine taking a hoe and pulling it through dirt imagine how much energy that takes now magnify that to the scale of what you're seeing on this landscape and you realize that the amount of fossil fuel energy that is applied to this landscape every year, year in and year out, is absolutely staggering. Here we have a little isolated homestead, pretty cool to see. It's still occupied, looks a little rough, but we go by that little homestead and we're back into another, uh, quite literally, 10, 20, 50,000 acres of plowed red dirt. 